this assignment, we are going to plan your birthday shopping trip. So the first thing we're going to do in cell A1, we are going to type in birthday shopping trip. And then we're going to go ahead and merge the cell. So click on cell A1, drag all the way down to cell G and merge the cells. And then we're going to center line, make our text bold and increase your font size to size 12. After that, you're going to fill in the rest of the table. So you can zoom in on my example if you need to. Uh, pause your video. I'll zoom in to make it easier for you to see, but pause your video to fill it out like mine would be in just a moment. So you're gonna fill your spreadsheet so it looks like mine. Um, on row three, you're going to type in store in cell B3, then item purchased, price, sales tax percentage, actual sales tax and cost. And then what we're going to do is you're gonna click on these headings. We're gonna make them bold. We're going to center align them. And then we're also going to wrap the text. So the few of the longer ones like item purchased and actual sales tax will wrap for you. Next, we want to click and drag from cell A3 all the way down to G9. And we're going to click on borders and we want to add the full borders to those cells so click on that and your spreadsheet should look like this after you've done that next we're going to click between columns a and b we're going to make column a smaller since we just have the numbers one two three four five on there but after we make it smaller we do want to click and drag uh, cell A10, so make sure you get columns A and B, and we're going to merge those cells. And then the same thing for 11, click on A, drag to B, and merge those cells as well. Now we are ready to start filling out our chart. So for your birthday, you were given $200, so let's go ahead and type 200 in cell B, excuse me, C10. And um, yours probably won't be formatted as, as currency. So when you type 200, it'll look like this. But then we're going to go ahead and click on Format as Currency, and it'll change it to $200 like that. In the second part of this video, uh, let's go ahead and take the birthday money and the money left. Let's highlight those cells, and let's also add a border to those as well. Uh, then also, if we want to change the color of those, we can change that color. And we can also change the thickness to make it a little bit different than the rest. So now it looks like that. What we're going to do now is we need to start filling in our the stores that we went to, what we purchased, their price, and then I'll show you how to add the sales tax to that. So for this example, um, the store that I'm going to use is Amazon. And if you don't have access to Amazon, we can find other sites that you can uh, look for items. So on Amazon, I really want to buy these Beyblade Burst Evolution Elite Warrior 4 pack. So I'm going to, you can just type it in if you want to copy and paste what it was to. I will paste that in there and you'll notice that it is way too long. So I'm going to go ahead and for these items purchased, I'm going to go ahead and wrap my text and it wraps it in there too. The price on those was $29.99. So again, I'm going to type in $29.99 and then I want to format all of the cells in, col in column D and format those to currency. Now the sales tax in Michigan is 6%. So 6%, if we wrote that as a decimal, will be 0 0.06. And same thing, I want to change that from a decimal though, I want to format that as a percent. And now it changes it to 6%. If you want, you can decrease the decimal places to make it just 6%, or if you wanna leave them on, that's fine as well. So now we need to create a formula to figure out the actual sales tax that we're going to pay. So to figure out sales tax, we're going to multiply the price of the item times the 6%. So my formula is going to be equals, and then cell D4, 
and we're going to multiply. So I'm going to hold Shift 8 by our sales tax and then hit Enter. So the sales tax that we're going to pay is $1.80. And again, if your cell was not formatted to, uh, to currency, if it was just a uh, number, then we'll need to click and drag over these cells as well and format them to currency. Now to figure out the total cost, we need to add the actual sales tax plus the price of the item. So to do that, it's gonna be equals, and then we're going to have the price of our item in B4 plus plus the actual sales tax. So for this first row, it'll be equals D4 plus F4, and then hit enter. And again, if this isn't formatted for currency, you can go ahead, click and drag over these and format for currency. So now I have the total cost of my Beyblade. You need to do this for uh, four more items. So now that I have the rest of the items that I purchased in here, I have a couple Disney dolls, a walking cane, and the Nintendo Entertainment System Classic Edition. I am going to show you how to copy our formula. So we have our 6% sales tax, we just click and drag that down. And now we have our formula for the actual sales tax. Again, we can click and drag that down to our other cells. And then the total cost, we can click and drag that down to our other cells. The last thing we need to do for the total cost is to go to functions, sum, and click and drag over everything in column G and then hit enter. Um, you'll also notice that I also did that for column D. Um, you do not have to do that. We just are gonna have one total here. So now I have my total cost at $195. So now I need to figure out how much money I have left. To do this, we need to create a new formula. Our formula is gonna be equals the $200 minus whatever we have in cell G9 and then hit enter. And that's the total money that we have left over. If your uh, sheet looks like this and you have all your formulas correct, you can go ahead and turn it in. Thank you.